For a city of 10 million people, Seoul understandably has an enormous metro to keep its people moving. The metro is big, but getting around it is very simple for tourists. Every station have ticket machines, but be warned they only accept cash. They're usually beside a deposit machine where you can get money back on each ticket you purchase, more on that in a moment. First select the language you need if that's not Korean. Find your destination either via its name or the code you'll see published at every stop and most tube maps. Now select the type and number of passengers you require and then pay with cash. The machine will then print a ticket for each individual and the tickets will be identical so don't expect a different color for a child. The fares are very reasonable and are generally well below a pound per person per trip. You can buy a transit card that can store your fare so you don't have to keep buying new trips each time, but we found it easier to buy when we needed to use the metro. Remember there's a deposit of around 40 pence on each ticket, so keep and don't throw them away after you've used them. Once you have your tickets, Find the line you need and the end destination of each line is clearly shown in English and Korean, much like other metros. You can even see where the next train is exactly when on the right platform. Once you've arrived at your destination, make your way to the deposit machine and feed in your tickets one by one for your refund on each ticket. The Seoul metro stations are wide and air-conditioned and although they can get busy, the Koreans are incredibly courteous, making traveling around on the metro very easy for us tourists.